All right, now McKenzie's the favorite in this one here. Um, it's not surprising that he's the favorite. Uh, trained by Bob Baffert, he's being ridden by Joel Rosario this time. They're switching from Mike Smith to Rosario. Here's the problem I have with McKenzie. Something just tells me I don't know if he can really handle uh, this mile and a quarter very well. Um, got a good win there in the Whitney. Um, defeated Vino Rosso and Yoshida in that one. Uh, before that, he ran in the Met Mile. Uh, very fast race, 132 and change. He lost to my toll. Uh, but he was second in that three-quarters of a length off the, off the lead. Still a very impressive race there he run. And um, and the Ali Shiva before that one, four length win, uh, 141, uh, no problem, mile and 116th. Uh, but his last race out, uh, out of the awesome again stakes, uh, he was beaten by Mongolian Groom. Mongolian Groom got the lead, he controlled the pace, and he controlled that race. And um, I, I was really shocked that McKenzie couldn't catch him, but he couldn't. McKenzie didn't have enough to get him. I don't know, maybe he was just uh, out of his game. Maybe he fell asleep there, let Mongolian uh, Groom just uh, establish too much position for him to be able to catch. Um, but I don't know. I think maybe McKenzie might have faded. Uh, maybe he's not going to be up for it. I'm not sure. I'm just not really sure if he's going to be able to go this distance after he didn't do too well in that awesome against stakes. I don't know how well he's going to do in this one. Now, he is the favorite, like I said, 3-1 uh, to one right now. We'll see uh, who's really the favorite come race time. But, um, you know, uh, I don't blame anyone for picking him for the winner. Uh, I don't blame anybody if they really think he's going to win it. I, I was really impressed with him. Um, I still had questions with him at the mile and a quarter, um, and I still do now. And then I have even more questions now based on uh, his performance in the awesome again.